Sly Guy TV and you're watching the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy and the Sly Guy Combo. So wake me up, cause I must be dreaming. I can't believe what my eyes are seeing. Now wake me up, I can't find a meaning. Nothing really matters when the world is sinking. Down, down, down. Welcome back, guys, and here we go. The gauntlet to bring us up to gold. Hopefully bring us up to gold. And we're still going to be playing Jack's deck for Fron. For Fron. Mm, let's play this guy first. For Fron. And how you guys doing? Hopefully you're staying home. Hopefully you're staying safe. If you guys do have to go out, please take every precaution. Remember, there's still a pandemic ongoing. So uh, you guys have to stay as safe as you can. And there we have it. On a samurai. Normally, I get him and Veronin in play. So, well, it looks like we're gonna have to snatch up a few life stealers right there. Or the weenie eliminator. You know what? Let's get Jack. Yeah, let's give him War Cry to pump him up. Ooh, pump the jam. Pumping up. Oh, yeah, come in. Hopefully, he plays another creature so that we can uh, eliminate him with Jerk. Oh, God. How do I deal with that thing? Mm, okay. Not a very good way to start the game. Especially if you are playing with Chick. Well, let's go ahead and see. I have to do some damage of some sort. And that guy has double damage. Yeah, that's a major problem with this deck. It's dealing with large creatures like that. Mm, oh, no, no. We're going to have to take that. And now Whirling Duo is useless in this game. Unless we get... Milos Rebel Bummer! Bums away! Boom! Boom! Ka-ching! Ka -ching. Yep, so he's on the defensive now. He's on the defensive. We got him right where we want him. Yes, he is on the defensive now. I'm going to use that to draw a card. Another Milos Rebel Bummer right there. And we're going to attack it. I'm going to wipe that guy out with a surprise. Double damage. Boom. Boom. Har, har, har. Double damage. Take that. Well, I doubt if these cloud snakes are gonna kill me. Oh, look, a clan hero. How oh, cute. Mr. Hero. You are so cute. Then I'm gonna summon a Milos Rebel Bomber. Attack, attack. And he's down to one, folks. If he draws a firebomb, then he is screwed. Oh yeah, this deck is really uh, doing exceptionally well. No, no, hold on. Let me draw a card first. Okay, we shall increase the attack. We shall attack with Milos, Rebel Bomber, and he blocks with both, and I give him double damage. And it's a good game, my friend. Kabloomy, kabloom. There we go. Man. Amazing deck. And let's check our rank. Hopefully, we've uh, gone up a bit. What? 
Gauntlet! Good lord. <coughs> All that effort and it was just Gauntlet. Here I was thinking I was playing Throne. Hmm. But that was an amazing play though. And even though it was Gauntlet, I felt like I was playing against a live person. Hmm, no wonder it was so fast. But I went all the way up to Silver 2 a while ago. Hopefully, uh, we saw it get up to Silver 1. It went eventually to Gold 3, then to Diamond, and hopefully to Masters. Because I've never actually gotten up to Masters yet. Just Diamond. The, fast, the highest I went was Diamond 1. Uh, hmm. Creatures. Ah, oh, yeah, this will do. Yes, please do not host me today as I want to get a win. No Hosey draws, please. But uh, the deck is anti Hosey draw because the highest uh, cost, uh, the creatures would have the highest cost are uh, three. Highest cost is three. So I've got one, two, and three cost cards here. Or actually, the cards either cost one or three. Don't think I have any two cost cards here. Okay, Fan Rear the Knight Blade. Oh my. Mr. Knight. Goodbye, Fenrir the Nightblade. Say hello to Kenzo, Kazuo, Melee Virtuoso, who will attack with the Samurai. This is like a Champions of Kamigawa deck from Magic the Gathering. It's like a Champions of Kamigawa with Cowboys and Bombers. <laughs> or something to that effect. Okay, attack with my whirling duo, gaining some life. If he puts a life stealer in play, that's when I'm gonna bring out the big one guns, Milos, the rebel bummer. Oh, this is nice. Milos, rebel bummer, bombs away, kaboom, kaboom. Let's wait for him to play a bunch of creatures. Haha, <laughs> this'll be fun. Jack's gonna nuke them all. Ooh, a Warhammer. Nice. 15 life and he kills my Milos. Shame the shame shame, my man. Yeah, let's invoke something. Uh, gold mine. Draw a weapon from your void, tribute plate instead. I don't have any weapons in my void. Yeah, let's play the brigand later on. But let's attack and get rid of that Warhammer. I don't like it. And let's not overextend. He might have a harsh rule in his hand or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're gonna love this play. Woot woot! Woot woot! Broken Jack attack. Jack the broken guy. No, oh, it's a smuggler. The smuggler. Okay, let's continue and apply the pressure. Bring this guy out. And um, let's um, see. Yeah, let's draw another Whirling Duo. So we get a bit of life steal our way as well. Boom! 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 Down to one! Oh my! Well, he must have something planned there. Not too sure what he's planning. Harsh rule, something. Yeah, it's gotta be a harsh ruler. 1-1 one, one weapon. Um, any 
he's down to three? Hmm, strange. Well, that's the case, man. I attack with everything. And I fight. Oh. Do you find it weird? It was like, um... The gauntlet match I had felt like I was playing with a real person, while this throne match I played felt like I was playing against a bot. Weird. You think they interchange the two or something? Oh well. Let's uh, do another game. This deck is wow. Because I got the idea from someone to add Jack in the game. Then I saw Milos. Then I said, hey, why don't we add Milos as well? Because I don't have enough legendaries to build that deck. And then I kept on going against these Rakano, uh, these Gruul uh, Oni decks that kept killing me. Then I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to build something like that. Then I'm going to add Milos and Jack in it to make it annoying. And there you have it. That's how this deck was born. Okay, there we go. I am playing Throne, am I? Oh yeah, but I ranked up, so I guess I am. Hmm. Okay, what's he gonna play? Ah! The Interloper. Yes. I remember you. Your influence is far-reaching. Before that, let's uh, get some war cry so we can pump whatever's at the bottom of a library. The bottom of my library. So at least I get some war cry. Ah, here we go. It's pretty nice. So, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna kill Mr. Magnificent. I put in a Milos side attack with Milos the Rebel Bomber, and then I use my War Cry Sword. Yeah, this will come in handy if I uh, draw a Whirling Duo or perhaps um, a Jack. And I give him double damage. <laughs> wow. That'll be nasty. Okay, we've got a Fantastical Stranger. Let's see what else he's gonna play. And a Toothless Stranger. Who gives the Fantastical Stranger a bonus. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play another Milos, Rebel Bomber. And then we are going to kill the Toothless Stranger to prevent him from pumping up his other strangers. Then we attack. Or do we do War Cry? Yeah, you know what? Let's do some War Cry shenanigans. So he's gonna block the 3 3. Boom! Take that! War, cry, baby, and two firebombs in your face. All right. Okay, playing a Makar Stranger. Oh, that's one of the legendaries I needed. Okay, let's uh, invoke something cool. Uh, Conflagrate. Oh, Flame Stoker. I like this. <laughs> I'm gonna play a bunch of Inferni. Boom! Take that! Fire bomb! And he's staring down two five fours. Things are looking very grim for Marcy Maru. Take a gander at the most annoying deck ever created. 
yep, you gain some life, you make him huge, you draw something, and that something normally is just a tiny creature. Sure, attack, why don't you? Oh, he killed my uh, Kazuo. Kazuo got killed. Okay, let's leave that in the hand in case I get eject. And attack with another Milos Rebel Bomer. Here we go. Now he has to make a choice. Double block or take the damage. Oh, he's taking the damage. Really amazing. Okay, I'm uh, holding this because uh, I know I'm going to draw eject. I have a feeling I'm going to draw a Jack very soon. Jack Mercenary Hunter. Yeah, he's gonna try to do something and then he's gonna gain some life and Milos will just get larger and larger. Keep drawing the cards from the top of my deck. That's totally fine. Gain lots of life and he'll be a 7-6 real soon. Then you won't be able to deal with him. Come on, attack, sir. Come on. He doesn't know whether to attack or not because he knows there's an Infernus coming his way. A very big and bad Infernus. Let's see what he plays. Oh, my. Very interesting. He did not play anything at all. Uh, let me uh, use this ability. Shugos, uh, what's this? Grenade. Sacrifice a unit to deal 3 damage to an enemy unit and 3 damage to the enemy player. Oh, this looks very interesting, you know. Now, if I attack, you're down to 1. interesting play <clears throat> okay let's end it but I'm gonna get another Infernus anyway so you'd better have some elimination on hand if you don't ah interesting so he's going all out hmm very very strange so I will put him into play and then I will attack with an Infernus Boom. and guess what I sacrifice him to do damage to you first. Okay, and that's the game, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show on my road to gold. Okay, silver two, but I'm going to be silver uh, around gold three uh, when I film the next episode, hopefully. Yup and see, I don't even get the silver chest anymore. I was playing Gauntlet for so long. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's amazing episode. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Once again, Sly Guy TV here with the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, and the Sly Guy signing off right now.